Hello and welcome. Today's tutorial will be on the condenser from IC2 as well as showing you guys how to make distilled water and coolant as well. So first, before we get stuck into it, if I quickly run you through some of the recipes. For the condenser, you're going to need an electric circuit, basic machine case, four empty cells and some iron item casts. For the solar distiller, you're going to need a basic machine case, two universal fluid cells and five glass. For the steam generator, you're going to need as follows, a heat conductor, a copper boiler and some iron item casts as well. You will need all three of these. And some of the things you will need to get this up and running will be everything you see here. If we just take these heat vents out, you're definitely going to need to make, uh, I would say, minimum four heat vents, as well as you're going to need some of this, this lapis dust. So if I show you the basic way on how to make uh, distilled water, basically what you're going to need is you're going to need to craft yourself, I would recommend more than one solar distiller. And all you need to do is flick this switch on, pump water into it. As you can see inside, it's filled with water. And it's slowly making its distilled water through the sunlight. And if we head over to here, you can see I have, this has been going for quite a while now. I've only made not even a bucket's worth of distilled water. And just to let you know about these solar distillers, they can accept inject upgrades so if you're planning on piping it around that is really great news but now if we move on to how we can make this process faster what you are going to need is you're going to need to set up a electric heat generator if you want a electric heat generator pause the video if need be then you'll probably want to go in this order as well the steam generator the condenser then the canner machine and just to see, I have hooked it up at the back with an MFSU. So if we pump this guy with water. As you can see, water's heading in. And we'll get to that in a sec. First, if we chuck our copper coils, you're probably going to want a tent so you can max out the power. And next, the optimal bar level I have found is if we go 10, 20, 30, so this does it in 10 increments. Let's go all the way up to 70 and then hit this one. This does 100, so 170. This will do 100, 10 and one, and a, a full bucket's worth. So basically we're gonna want 500. So if we let that guy build up some heat, and when it does, we will be back. Okay, and we are back guys, and as we can see, I've let it build up some heat. So if we quickly move over to the condenser, this is basically what the condenser looks like. And this is its storage tank that will store all its steam. Top tank and underneath will be, here we go, as you can see, it's processing some of the steam. And the great thing with these heat vents, it will make it faster. So you'll get more distilled water more quickly and you can pump it around your base or wherever need be. So as we have a look, you can see it's flashing. All of them are flashing. And when it's flashing like this, it is working at its optimal level. See water, steam, water, steam. It's turning it straight into steam. And as you can see, now we come to the final process of it. Obviously, we are not going to want the canning mode. You are going to want this mode. And the reason why it is not putting any fluid in at the moment is because with the condenser, we are going to need to put in this slot a fluid injection upgrade as well. There we go, two of them. And there you go, it's putting it in. That is one way you can do it and just if we head over here this is another way you can use by using a fluid generator so if we flick that baby on 
and set this to 170 again and 500 and flick that on there pump that water in these guys really do need water because they will explode and that is not a good thing and just to show you how you can use this method as well once the steam generator is done we will be back okay and we're back and as you can see it is finally almost got up to temperature there you go around 300 degrees excellent now if we head over to the condenser again it's pretty much the same setup guys I thought I'd just show you one using the electric and one using the fluid and if you guys aren't quite sure what fluid I'm using I am using biogas it is a pretty good fuel for the fluid heat generator to generate steam it is a little bit slow but once it gets going it's pretty good and basically it's going to do the exact same as that over there pump that into here if we flick it to that mode and there we go off it goes it's creating slowly it is a bit slower I must admit but if we head back over to here and the final bit on there you go it's pretty much filled it up probably the electric ones the way to go so if we chuck our empty cells in here the 10 and the four lapis dust there we go it will produce that in to you guessed it coolant so it'll make 10 of them and then it will just dump the rest in here and if you wanted to if you've got spare coolant you could just pump it into a tank and they're fantastic for upgrades in IC2 so that is how you make coolant distilled water and you have learned how to use the condenser as well and just a couple more notes that I think you guys might like to know is heat vents increase power by 2 EU in the condenser and in the condenser as well the internal tank holds 100,000 millibuckets of steam that is this thing here and a couple more notes I reckon you guys should know the steam generator as I had said before is a little bit slow I don't think there's any room for power upgrades or overclock upgrades don't clock don't quote me on that but yep yeah. and the fluid heat generator can take all liquids as shown you should see them right now so I hope this helped you in some way and you learned something until next time thank you